Let's do this one using a matrix. So the first thing we need is our augmented matrix. So we can put this in our brackets like this. That gives us the matrix 1, negative 1, 18, 1, 1, and 2. Now I do like matri matrices a lot because remember in 1010 you're going to have three variables. It's very nice. Let's eliminate one of these because well, we need to, okay. And I can see one of these that I can eliminate pretty quick in the second column there, right? So let's say that I took row two and added it to row one. Then I get a new matrix. I'll make this one smaller. I didn't do any, well, actually I did do something to those. Row two plus row one, so one plus one would give me two. One plus negative one is zero and 2 plus 18 is 20. Now I didn't do anything to that second row yet though. So that kind of eliminated a variable right there, right? If we wanted to change this back into an equation, we'd have 2x plus 0y equals 20, but we don't really need to put plus 0y. And you could solve from here, right? But let's say that we wanted to just continue using the matrix because it's so fun. Well, we need these, uh, we do need a 1 in this position where the 2 is, technically speaking. Not that we need it. So I could just go into row, row 1 right now and just divide everything by 2. So notice, again, I did not do anything to that second row. It's still 1, 1, and 2. My top row, though, now is 1. 0 divided by 2 is still 0. 20 divided by 2 is 10. Just like as if we were to solve that equation right there, 4x. Now, some of you guys could stop right here and change it back into an equation and solve that second equation for y. All right? On the other hand, though, we can do it the old-fashioned way using a matrix. So if I took row 1 multiplied it by negative 1, and then added it to row 2, then I can get a 0 right here, which is what I need. I need a 0 there. Okay, you guys remember that? We're, we're trying to get 1, 0, 0, 1 right here, and that tells us what x and y are from last time. All right, well, when I do that, let's give myself some more space. I get, so again, we didn't, we're not changing row 1, but I can take row 1, if I multiply this 1 by negative 1 and then add it to 1, then I get that 0, which I need, and 0 times negative 1 is still 0, plus that 1 is 1, that's what we wanted out of this, and 10 times negative 1 plus the 2 would be negative 8. So our answer, which it wanted as a point, if we, again, change these back to equations, we got 1x equals 10, and 1y equals negative 8. So x is 10, y is negative 8.